Uh, McCole Hardman uh, will not practice today. I, uh, he did a great job of playing in that game the other day. Uh, very courageous effort, and uh, my heart goes out to the kid because he, he busted his tail. He is hurting, though, t- uh, today. Um, Juju had uh, has some knee swelling. He won't practice. Legereus needs in the concussion protocol. He won't practice. And then uh, Kadarius Tony, he won't practice with the ankle sprain, but um, he's, he's close um, and doing well. Actually, I did the walkthrough today. So... Um, Listen, we look forward to the challenge of playing the Eagles. Uh, good football team, great football team. And, um, you know, they've got tremendous talent. They've uh, got good coaching, and it's a, it's a good organization. So, um, and I guess you don't get to this point unless, unless that's the case. Uh, so that's, uh, they're, they're, they really do a nice job. Anyways, with that, time's yours. What are you thinking as far as uh, high Everett's Alaris concerned? That would be fun, Joey, but how close are his Everett's Alaris? Yeah, he'll practice, and we'll see see where he's at. You know, we're just taking it day by day and see kind of how he's feeling, and not only during practice, but also after practice. So he'll, he'll work today. And you cut it to Pat come through the game? Yeah, um, he actually did well. Uh, a little stiff. Um, Right after the game, but he's uh, he's doing well now. So. Coach, the, Nick Sirianni's in his second year. You guys saw them pretty early last season. How much have they developed since you y'all saw them up there last year? Yeah, first of all, Nick's done a great job with that team. Um, as as has Howie Roseman uh, in the general manager position. So. Um, but they've, yeah, they're way more familiar with the schemes. Uh, they've got a great defensive scheme. They've got a great offensive scheme. And, and the players, uh, they're, they're more comfortable in, with both, both sides of that. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that are obviously are pointing out that you brought Jason in, but you brought in two other guys, too. personally so I'm proud um, and they uh, are tough guys tough minded they're good leaders they're fun to be around um, and they're good football players um, I, I think generally that uh, you know now each one's an individual and has, has its own they each one has their own characteristics but that in general I would tell you that about them. great team guys yeah and Reddick, Reddick went to uh, school, you know, with my son and both my sons. So one was coaching, one was playing. Andy, you mentioned Nick Sirianni earlier. You know, he was here. Everyone knew he was talking about you being a Philly, but he was here at one point. Um, you've had discussions with him before you kind of arranged your coaching staff. What impressed you about that that maybe said, even though it didn't work out for him with opportunity under your staff, that he might be a head coach and be successful? Yeah, I love his personality. He, he, uh, he, he's, he's a guy that um, you can talk to and uh, communicates well. He, um, he's got a fire to him that, that you appreciate and the players appreciate. Um, a personality, you know, uh, is what I'm saying, a good personality that way. So, and he's smart. I had a chance to talk to him, and he's a smart kid, so... He's, and he, I think he's perfect for Philadelphia. That's a tough place. And he's a tough kid. And he relates well with the people there. Patrick, obviously, there's a historical significance going into this game with you and Jalen Hurts. That this is occurring in black history, how much more special is that? Yeah, I mean, uh, to be on the world stage um, and uh, have two black quarterbacks uh, start in the Super Bowl, I think it's special. And I've learned more and more about the, the history of the black quarterbacks since I've been in this league. And uh, uh, the guys that came before me and, and Jalen set the stage for this. And now I'm just glad that we can kind of set the stage for guys that are uh, kids that are coming up now. And so uh, 
uh, it'll be a great game uh, two, against two great teams, and then against another great quarterback. So uh, I'm, I'm excited to go out there and try to do what we can to, to win against a great team. To follow up on what Eric was saying, just you mentioned the future and all the players that have looked up to you, and I'm sure they also look at the Jalen too. What do you sense that for the future going forward for black quarterback because of this that this historic moment for you guys and he is for the youth that are looking up to you guys? Yeah, I think you've seen over over time it's uh, whenever a guy like Doug Williams or uh, Michael Vicker, Donovan McNabb go out and, and play great football. It gives other guys like me and Jalen chances to, to have this uh, platform and have this spot on the uh, NFL team. And so if we can continue to, to show that we can consistently be great, um, I think it will just continue to open doors uh, for other kids growing up to, to follow their dreams and be a quarterback of the NFL team. And uh, it's, uh, it's good that we have guys like Jalen on the other side because he's a great, a great person and obviously a great quarterback. Yeah, I mean they have a great defensive coordinator. First off, um, uh, he he does a lot of different things. Uh, their scheme has evolved because of the players that he has. Um, they have great all pro pro bowlers at every single level, um, and so they continue to add talent, man. And uh, they have a lot of great players, veteran players, and mixed with young players. And I mean they're they're one of the number. I, mean, I don't know if they're number one, but they're one of the top defenses in the league for a reason. Um, and uh, they get after the quarterback, so it'll be a great challenge for us uh, to go out there and try to have some success. Frank, you missed the Eagles game last year. You were hurt that week. Uh, what do you remember about the study for that and maybe what you saw in that game and how much different they are now because that was pretty early in the, the regime of the new coaching staff? Yeah, um, it looks like um, Hurts, it looked like he um, he's very, you know, he's way more comfortable in the offensive scheme now. I believe this is his third year in the scheme. 2-6, um, 2-6 two, six, two, six didn't play last time. I think they have 14 at running back. 2-6 um, didn't play at all. Um, as we know, he's having a great season. I believe he's sitting at 11 touchdowns, like 1276, 1250, something rushing yards. Um, at the end of the day, you know, when you put in, putting those, those type of numbers, you know, offensively, huh? Sorry, um, their quarterback is he's playing um, like a running back as well. So um, 13 touchdowns. Um, at, at the end of the day, when you putting up those like Lamar Jackson numbers in 2009, I mean 2019, if you're not aware. Um, when you put out those type of numbers offensively, you know, running the ball, rushing the ball, you know, it's going to open up a lot of other things. So in, in turn, you're starting to see the passing game open up for Jalen Hurts. You got a lot of screens and stuff with, with um, 88, the tight end, and number six, Devontae Smith. You got to um, – it's opening up deep ball and shots to 11. Um, it's doing a host of things. They um, Their offensive line is looking pretty strong as a unit. I feel like um, the tackles are playing some good football. Um, Lane, he's playing some of the best football his career, you know, vet, veteran guy who's continuing to show what he can do. Um, and like I said, man, this is Jalen Hurst show at the end of the day. If you can, you know, stop what he's doing, you know, you can possibly slow him down, but he's going to find some great football. What are some of the challenges specifically for your uh, position going up against the read option and quarterback that runs the ball so effectively like Jalen Hurts? Well, this is a college um, – type of running scheme, you know, the type of offensive scheme. And I don't mean, like, you know, the level that they're on. It's just the, you know, you start to see 2013 Ohio State Buckeyes, Jim Trussell, that type of offense, you know, where this type of scheme was getting introduced, you know, early on. Um, I kind of was a part of that group, you know, where this was coming around, so I understand it fully. Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of discipline type of things with the end. Um, he's kind of coming out. Ken, if you remember back then, Jim Trussell, he used to actually always key the DNs. It was a defensive end. He keyed the defensive ends. Um, watched the defensive ends. They were disciplined. If they stayed on the line of scrimmage, read options, read zones, different things like that, um, just to slow them down, read zones with um, screen looks and stuff to see if they ran to the ball and things like that. So. It was um it was a scheme basically to slow down the defensive ends to give them to play a different uh, uh, discipline style of um, game and um I feel like that's what we're gonna get a lot of um we got a great offense man they're a very high power they're a high scoring offense second to us but um at the end of the day when you're able to um you know do a lot of things that they're able to do give a lot of mixed looks um you know it, it kind of makes it harder on the defensive line. How you feel like Nick Yeah, I think we had the, the ability to, to go against that uh, kind of offense a little bit uh, at the beginning of the season in Arizona. Uh, kind of very similar in terms of getting the ball on the perimeter. Uh, but again, um, you don't really see like a lot. They put a lot of pressure on our DNs, edge defenders, corners, tackling, uh, with pool schemes. And so, uh, again, give them a lot of credit, man. They, they find matchups, man. They exploit them. They do a hell of a job of it. Uh, we just got to come in and play hard. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, man. Uh, Frank was able to move in and out, kind of confuse the uh, O line a lot on where he's going to line, where he's going to end up being. And so, him using that is definitely going to help us out. Based upon your study so far, just how good is, is Jalen? Yeah, man, I think he does a great job of trying to help extend plays. Uh, his eyes are downfield still, uh, trying to throw the ball to his wide outs. Um, they come back to the ball a lot uh, to give him a chance on uh, scrambles. Also, just whenever he knows when to uh, pull the ball, give the ball, and zone read football, on test the perimeter again, put a lot of, a lot of pressure on, on the DNs and our perimeter guys to make tackles out of space. What advice have some of you guys faced the Eagles last year early in your career? Mm-hmm. More comfortable and better are you equipped to – to handle what you're doing now than you were that first month of your career. Yeah, I actually watched that game already, and uh, the game's kind of moving kind of fast for me. Um, so compared to where I was uh, then to now, man, so it's a lot different uh, mentally-wise, and I'm just having to understand the scheme and what the offense is trying to do at this level. Um, so I feel a lot better coming in this matchup.